A never before seen feature within Halo but highly requested has been confirmed through the leaks of Halo Infinite and how this new feature may have a big impact on the community of Halo so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So an ever-growing part of gaming is the social side of things, being able to share content with people. And Xbox recognizes this by putting the share button literally on the controller itself. Though that share button isn't very useful unless there's some in-game tools to utilize it, and it looks like Halo Infinite is going to have some very shareable content for people to take advantage of the share feature within Xbox. That new feature being photo mode. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the leak itself and explain why it's such an important thing and showcase also what kind of cool stuff you can pull off with it and why it's so important for the social side of things of Halo. So if you like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you wanna stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. Though before we get into the leaks, I want to preface this exactly because this is very important to the state and health of my channel and I don't want to lose it. Uh, the community director sketch did say important, please do not post any data mined content to your channels. You run the very real risk of getting a takedown notice which could result in a strike against platforms, against your channel and stuff like that. Basically, I don't want to lose this channel so I'm not gonna be able to show you exactly what's going on. Uh, with basically someone just grabbed like the data mine information from Halo Infinite's tech preview and then also kind of put it in a text document. So it's not exactly the leak itself, but basically showcases like it's copy pasted in. So I don't want to run the risk of losing my channel for some photo mode leaks. Though this photo mode looks to be very robust with a series of features, borders, kind of different kind of ways you can edit as well, vignettes and things like that. You can make it look very cinematic or very colorful, like however you want to do it, because that's the kind of fun part about photo mode is that you can help kind of do some creative aspects within the video game itself. One game that has a photo mode added into it that I've been really enjoying and have a lot of fun taking photos of is the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I feel like it's every five minutes I'm stopping to take a cool screenshot, which is super awesome. You can just do it while you're playing the game itself and don't have to detach yourself from it. So it would be great if it can be done on the fly, especially within the campaign, because rumors have it that the there is going to be no campaign theater. That's the rumors going around it as well, but there will be a theater mode for multiplayer side of things. But will it be strictly tied to the theater mode so you to jump out of your game to do photo mode? That would be a bit of a shame, but also kind of understandable as well. So not to do some cringe-worthy kind of self-promotion, but I wanted to showcase what is possible with a photo mode. Uh, I've been doing this a lot with the Master Chief Collection on my Instagram page. If you want to follow there, link in the description down below. But I've been doing some really cool stuff with the NVIDIA photo mode, which is kind of a third-party thing, which is, works just fine as well, but you really can't get as much of detail that you would like to get if you could do it in game. Here's an example I took of a game that I did of a custom game. I just took a screenshot of this, blurred the background, enhanced the coloring, it looks pretty freaking cool. You can set yourself up with some cool profile pictures. I did a bit of a cat armor kind of thing here, blurred the background, enhanced the coloring and lighting and things like that, to make it look pretty awesome. Now this one is one of my all time favorite pictures that I've ever posted on Instagram right here. Uh, utilizing a little bit of reshade in the MCC as well to enhance some lighting, but also utilizing the photo mode through NVIDIA really brings out the electricity coming from the inclement weather. Armor effect, enhancing the colors, the shadowing and things like that to really just make it much more dramatic and just really kind of an epic shot. I absolutely love this picture. But what's the whole point about sharing pictures on the internet when it comes to playing your games? I mean, well, we pretty much do that already with memes so why don't we do that with the actual game itself and showcasing some really interesting things it became a whole now subculture community within halo 3 back in the day of people sharing these epic iconic screenshots from halo 3. i mean these are images that get shared like you know thousands upon hundreds of thousands maybe even a million times people get a chance to see these images and so the main thing is that be able to share content around the internet people seeing halo cool things you can do with halo funny things or just interesting things you can do with halo just showcasing there is a community out there that you can join in and have some fun with because that's certainly part of gaming nowadays is that you want to feel like you're a part of something you don't want to just be like playing the game by itself which obviously should be enough of a merit by itself right there but why do you think so many people gravitate to fortnite or call of duty or apex or any of these other really popular games out there 
It's because it's getting continuous updates, because there's a community behind it, because it's like the new cool thing to do right now. And so to try to enhance people showcasing like, hey, there's a community here, come join us. A photo mode does a really great job of doing that. You can also take pictures of your friends. I took this of one of my friends while I was playing Halo with them and just saw this really cool background of like the plasma exploding behind them, blurring that background, enhancing the colors and the shadowings and things like that. They would create like a really cool looking kind of silhouette profile picture like thing. This is something that's totally shareable content that can go around to people and people can check it out and enjoy it for themselves. And that's why I think that the social media side of things, even though it can be a bit cringy, absolutely yes, and it shouldn't be what makes a game popular, but it certainly does help. I mean, it's been statistically proven that people who watch Twitch and watch people stream that game on Twitch are more likely to play that game and also be long-term players of ga that game as well. Because, like I said earlier, there's a sense of community, there's things happening, you know, it's a living, breathing entity, you wanna be part of something. And I think 343 and Microsoft recognize that and are trying to build out some features to where people can share their content and experiences with people. I mean, we've seen this blow up on YouTube recently, which is sharing clips and just either funny clips or just like monster, like, you know, kill streak kind of clips because they're cool things to share with people within the community. So Halo Infinite, having a photo mode, I am 100% all for that. I think it's time well spent and I think it's gonna be a really great feature that people are really gonna utilize a lot. So if you guys missed any Halo news or information from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my Halo videos right there. I upload nearly daily about for Halo news. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.